What's up folks, Maximilian here, and Marvel vs. Capcom Origins is finally out. Been waiting for this game for quite a bit as I've been working on it for quite a bit with that official guide and retro assist me, so um... The biggest issue is that I was playing a lot of the game by itself and breaking it down but not playing against people, and you remember that Marvel vs. Capcom is actually a lot of fun, but it can be a little bit difficult against people. And I didn't have the chance to go online until its release date today, so that's what we're going to cover really quickly in this uh, quick video. So what you're seeing in the background is some uh, some ranked games and a variety of games from Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. However, not much from Marvel Super Heroes. I haven't played that one too much yet because Marvel Super Heroes is a busted game, but I'll go back and check it out sometime. I just want to play the Juggernaut and scream, I'm the Juggernaut bitch, to dudes left and right. But for Marvel vs. Capcom, um, I'll let you know how it goes. So, this game was designed by the same crew that made the Third Strike online port. The one with the online features, the new art, all that stuff. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins is extremely similar to Third Strike Online. It uses a similar netcode infrastructure and it has a similar matchmaking process, but they have given you a little bit more options in the matchmaking this time. Now you can actually set it if you want to search locally, you can set it to search by a certain ping amount, like you can go from like, like 10 ping to like 150 if you wanted, and you can uh, actually search things by region. So if you want to search locally, search nearby, or search any, you can actually do that now. So that's really good that they implemented those features to make uh, matchmaking a bit easier. Now, to give you an idea of the netcode and the quality of the netcode, this feels like a little bit of an improved version of Third Strike Online. Third Strike Online still has a couple of bugs, a couple of hitches, and some minor gripes that, uh, that I have with it. However, this game kind of seems to have resolved that. Now, let me give you an example of this and it's the fact that I'm playing with the GGPO delay setting of two so I'm actually taking a little bit of a hitch as far as my uh, gameplay goes and I haven't switched it up because of that so if you go down to like a one or a zero I think you have a better chance of connections being more jittery and I haven't actually run into very much jitter uh, I you actually see the, p the ping and the proper like actual connection of each match it's not like a little arbitrary color or like an icon that lets you know how good the match is it says how uh, what the ping is before you get into a game, so it's it's really good, and I'm glad they did that. And I've gone up to like 100 to 150 ping in a lot of games, and it's still completely playable. Um, it's not that bad, and you can still properly block attacks and uh, go for mix-ups and things like that. So that's really good that the netcode got improved from Third Strike Online, and I'm totally down for that. However, the matchmaking process is still a little bit buggy at the moment. Granted, this is a ported game. I was playing on the PS3 version, and uh, it was kind of all over the place. It took a long time to get into games. Uh, a lot of other people were com complaining about the same issue. But it eventually did work, and this stuff kind of happens with almost all things that are online and have a matchmaking system at the start, is that they need to optimize it, and hopefully within a patch or two, that'll be fixed completely. So the, the quality of the gameplay, pretty good, pretty sweet. You don't get a lot of jitters. It actually runs pretty smooth, and it is Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, for the most part, you have another lobby system, like the player matches. So you can do like a quick match, you can do a proper lobby, which holds up to, I think, eight people. I, I might be wrong with that. It's six or eight. But you actually get three different settings now, like a tournament, a casual, and like a round-robin setting. Which is really good. It's a different way of going through tournament settings. Like, you can do a best of three, you can just do like, you know, back-to-back, uh, -back and stuff along those lines. So I like the fact that they're changing some of the ways that you play with people on a player match basis, because making player matches more easily accessible is really good. Of course, it's got things like spectating, and the game actually does a pretty good job of about making all that very clear to you, and it's also got a replay feature. That's right, you can actually save your replays if you've had an awesome game, and keep them stored on your hard drive. But yeah, for the most part, this game is pretty fun. Uh, I haven't had much experience in Marvel Super Heroes, but Marvel vs. Capcom, in Marvel vs. Is Capcom Origins runs smooth, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, a lot, with, a lot of people on this game right now are probably going to have some issues because it doesn't control like many other Capcom fighters that you know right now. So, stay tuned. I'll be back very soon with a bunch of online ranked games, went against a huge variety of variety of opponents. There's a lot of guys that are extremely good at Marvel vs. Capcom right now, but the greater 75 to 80 percent are people just trying to learn or get or like reminisce themselves with the games, just like I am. And it takes a while. It's it's a much much different fighting game but it is a ton of fun so stick around that video will be up very soon and as always my name is Maximilian and I'll see you next time